Hi, I'm Trevor. And I'm Krista. We're originally from South Carolina. About six years ago, Krista and I met at a bar. We were both already drinking and we were both already using drugs. When we came together, all of that just combined, kind of escalated, and we both got heavier into the drinking and heavier into the drugs, and that eventually led to a volatile and violent relationship. We started using heroin, which led us to rock bottom. We got evicted from our house, but we're still squatting there, and we're living on an air mattress with a big screen TV until I pawned the TV a week later to get one of our last fixes. I went uh, to a vacation with my family for my mom's birthday, and on her birthday, she saw me go through withdrawals, and that was where it became very real for me that I needed to get help, where it really hit home for me that this wasn't the way to live, and I was hurting more than just myself. When I got to the men's ranch, I was in shock. I didn't know what to expect. And I'm in California now, all alone, in the orientation room with other guys going through the same thing I was going through. And it was there, I just, I just prayed for the first time, like a real prayer of just asking the Lord for help. Uh, I knew I was gonna be going through a pretty tough trial coming up. Having to withdraw from heroin is always was really rough for me uh, physically. I just cried out to God one night in the shower just to help me and heal me. And the next morning, one of the pastors came and got me and took me to a doctor. And it was the first answered prayer that I, I saw from the Lord that really opened my eyes and opened my heart to to his power, his might, the things he's capable of doing. Just in the simplest of prayers, he reached down to someone like me and lifted me up. They drove me up to the women's ranch and I felt completely separated because I just felt like I had lost everything. I was in a foreign place. I was around so many different people. Everybody seemed happy and I was like, what is going on here? And then the withdrawal started coming on too. And um, I was just broken. I was completely broken when I got here and just feeling so separated and out of touch with just life and reality. Uh, I was just, I was ready to change. I felt like I was going into a place of light. I was surrounded by people who had a new hunger and a new vigor for life and wanted to share that with me and to teach me all of the things that they've learned through the scriptures and the Bible and what Jesus has done for their lives and how they've changed. And I just remember slowly progressing to that light getting out of my shell and getting out of the dark place that I was in and wanting that light. And I was just drawn to it. So Krista and I were both at the ranches, you know, learning, growing, getting to know more about the Lord and all the things that I had been learning, she had been learning, and we were both just, just so excited about the Lord and, and just what He was doing in each of our lives. It wasn't about us anymore, it's about the Lord uh, and the things we had learned. We had never known in, in our earthly you know, time together, just not knowing of the spiritual love that Christ has for us, that w the way we're supposed to love one another is the way Christ loves us, that unconditional love and the forgiveness you know, was crucial in that, in learning about Christ's forgiveness of our sins that helped us learn how to forgive each other for all the hurt, for all the things that the abuse we had done towards each other. And looking back, it, there's nothing else that could have done it for us, that could have helped mend the hurt, the pain, the sorrows that we caused. 
being separated from Jesus is not what we're intended for. We're intended to, to worship God and to live for Christ. And until we learn that, we aren't really living.